Falcon takes us to Jules Vale. Now this is the battle of two Cobalt members here. So it's safe to say I know what this matchup looks like. So I have more experience with these two players specifically. Midmole just quite quickly taking Orkhan off the stage, but he finds his way back just as easily. And a very easy Tava combo from the Maple player. And the memo just retaliates very quickly. Now I can see myself getting confused here with this set because both players have opted to use each other's tags with a slight differentiation. So, hopefully I'll do my best to say the right names. Either way, Orkan has got Menthmo in quite a dicey situation here. Very high percent and a down strong to take it. I'm back. I'm joining him up there with here. Oh my gosh. Metmo on his last stock. And by the looks of it, it may be going quite soon. This matchup's really uh it's like a, you have to play it fast, but like the usually the, the maple uh, I guess the initi initiative just because she bursts in so fast and she has a bigger range that she can turn that. Um, but it's definitely not a bad matchup. I mean, Urken, Urken, one of the best whiff finishers in the game, so... But it seems like uh, Urken is making good use of everything here. And obviously a matchup can only say so much about how a set would go, because it also depends on the player's skills. Of course. Both these players have proven that they are very dangerous Look and... Look at that! Yeah. That was a comeback! Yeah, Minmo takes it for game one. That's a huge comeback. I mean, the, the mental is everything also in these kind of sets, right? So, winning an early game, especially with a comeback, can give you that mental boost to really pull through. Mm. Yeah, Minmo's always been very good at keeping his mentality strong. <laughs> he doesn't get easily deterred from upsets, so it's less a battle of wizards. This is a battle of purely skill. I'm really interested to see how this evolves, mostly because, um, I mean, if if it all kept playing like that, I mean, look, he's already making a <laughs> making a huge start. I don't know if he did this lead one uh, game one two or. Even with how good Minmar's been playing, Lockdown is nothing to sneeze at and yeah. has proven he knows this matchup <laughs> very well. Insane, insane confirmed there. Just finding the wrap on the platform and converting, and that's a 74% kill uh, by just to bring it back. Yeah, and Lockdown already building up that percent. Marking twice, he is very good at remarking opponents. Yeah, Orkan is a Orkan is a real remark. Like I've seen him try to remark and remap, uh, rewrap opponents a lot. And look, he basically almost a zero to death. But uh, Orkan yeah. recovery obviously helps there a lot. Yeah, that wasn't Orkan. That would have most likely been the stop. Yeah, there's a few ways you can go about that if you're not Orkan. But Orkan can just work back to the stage. So. As we've seen with Walking on the set, depending on the character, his probably favorite way to end a stock isn't always viable, as we've seen with, I believe, Drip Collector, mm. Rasta. But either way, Midmall takes us to the last stock of the game. <laughs> that was really fast, actually. I'd, <laughs> I had no idea that the comeback was being mounted already, but it's really a back and forth set here. Seems like they really know each other very well. 
Yeah, both these players are very fast paced. Yes. So seeing them both play each other is something to behold. Yeah, it's very entertaining. And uh, I mean, Arcanum's leading right now, but I mean, in a moment, Solus can shift, but the F smash read on the on the recovery there, the baseline. Very, very nice play there by Arcanum. Yeah. yeah. Now, this, we could be seeing a game five of this set. Which I don't think we've seen much of today on stream, so... I, uh, I guess that actually, I guess it's one game five, but yeah, for the rest I don't think we've seen that many game fives yet, so... And it's still gonna be a fun set regardless. Yeah, of course. Outcome. It's a best place set. People running at each other. Everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah. Like we've seen players be defensive, but both these players are very aggressive with their play sounds. But they do know how to um oh. Oh, yeah. they a, do know how to uh it's a, disengage. It's a bit tricky there because if um or if uh you get Raptor the Maple can get to the other side of you and then get make a DI makes up all of that. Now I don't know if it would even kill Orkane um if even if uh, he was holding full out on it, but it's uh, it's something to consider for sure. Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Mithal just building a wall and forcing Orkanon to tether into a down strong. That was a very good rinse repeat there by Minmal. It looked a bit funny. <laughs> Poor Orkanon having to deal with all those bubbles. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It looks like uh, Orkanon is managing really well here, though. Oh, try that Ooh. really... really a nice uh, little alley-oop from Lily there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, and missed! It didn't turn around! So... Oh, but he gets, gets a punish afterwards anyway, time, so. yeah. Well played by Orkanon here. Looking like he's uh, he's kind of running away with this game. Um, but obviously, I mean... Minimal has shown that he can bring it back, but... I mean, this, this is getting kind of out of hand right here. Doing a bit of spaghetti, oh! Yeah, the eyes, the eyes are correctly this time. Yeah, Orkanon has been proving at least online uh, in like, exhibitions and friendlies that he does know his way around this matchup in a way around mid-mall. So it's less about adaptation and more about just n knowing how to use the knowledge he already has. Yes. That's very fair. Look, working on the... Kind of just cleaning up the game with the special there. I mean, the, the aggressive nature of like both characters, I think um, there's a potential for a little of a... Maybe you can slow down the pace a little bit. It's really hard to get, especially as a player like Orkan on who play with the character Maple, obviously. But um, might have to take a different approach because that's the games in a row where you got two stuck basically, so... Still going to Frozen now on this stage. I really like Frozen. It's one of my favorite Orkin stages. The uh, legends are very... Uh, the, sorry, the legends are very close to the blast zone. The top platform really helps. Uh, the top platform really helps with the... Uh, the, the coverage of the Nair and so like you can clutter up Nair from it really well, you can do a lot of things with bubbles uh, here too and usually the platform is too high for other characters to recover too so it's, and you have a lot of space as well so you can actually play more defensively on the stage which I'm expecting to see more and you already see it's paying dividends since uh, Mimble takes the first stock here. Yeah, and then we're actually seeing at least a minorly different playstyle with uh, what we've done here. Not rushing off stage as soon as he sees Mythmar out there. Yeah. I think that's a logical adaptation here too, because um, because of the LB, right? Mm. Otherwise, uh, I think you can probably do a bit of waiting, but you have to stay on stage because of the puddle usually. And Midmol takes the second stop, not losing one of his yet, and there we go. There it is. Immediately responded. <laughs> uh, happens way too often. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but Orkanon has been playing very well this set, so this could be an Orkanon victory. But at the same time, yeah, Midmol has proven time and time again that he is very, very capable. At the moment, we're looking down on the game five. Um, obviously, 
we've seen many swings and momentum in this in this set because of how you know how well they know each other, how well they know the matchup, obviously. Yeah, obviously, both players being from Kaiba, we've had a lot of time yeah, to play with each other, and we now go on to game five thanks to that up here from all, from Midmore. Really, uh, really fast set of things considering we're already in game five. Let's see, because we see mostly two stocks on either side so far. Um, so I'm wondering if this is going to be the same thing, but uh, it's going to be harder for for. A large stage to be big because it's working on counter pick here, so can't play the same way as he did the previous game. Has to be a bit more careful. Mm. Still, Midmar just delivering on what's banned next. I would think a good ban would be um, would be Spirit Tree, but they actually choose this the flat stage, which is also very fair. I think that's a good ban because. The Lily on the stage, uh, since you don't have many places to go on the platform, um, it actually puts up a lot of pressure on the on the stage there, so I get why it's banned. Mm. And from experience, I know that both these players do not really like flatter stages, especially not mm. uh, Endless Abyss. They both love their platforms. That's very fair. So, yeah. <laughs> just darting around each other <laughs> for a moment there as Okanon starts to put in some percent. This is a huge combo, 70, 76? Uh, 67? Oh, sorry, the Dutch, uh, Dutch number system is confusing me. And 67. It's just not stopping yet. Oh, watch out though, this could be a huge swing here with the bubbles. Oh, popped it a bit too early, maybe wanted to reposition the, the puddle. Gets a, a, the raw ugly. We thought it might kill on the stage because the ceiling's really low here. Yeah, and it's shown to be an Orkanon favorite. Just to let it rip whenever it feels right. Yeah. Oh, the fair. The DI was really good on it too, but. Let's make it back. Oh, didn't it have doesn't the... make it back to the puddle in time, but that fair is just really gonna kill yeah. straight up. That just kills. It's uh, a. Cool. We're getting another big combo here. The Rav, the Reeve Seed, the Remark. We've almost got like a, a full that, <laughs> across the stage combo there. That was almost huge. As he's already evened up with the center. But just a wall of bubbles. No tether to oh, nice. rely on. We get a little bit of a, a shorter hydroplane, but it's definitely a hydroplane that's mentioned right up there. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit of dancing again. I mean, you can't get the super huge confirms anymore with, with Maple, so you have to take the the rap stuff. Yeah. Now, Medmal is in quite a dangerous percent here. Yes. Any one of Orkin's uh, interactions could be a start. It's very scary. Now, I would say there are some setups that can happen here for Midmall. At this percentage especially, there's a huge potential for a kill here, especially at the ledge. Gets out of the ledge. Right. Oh, that was so close. Maple doesn't have the fastest strong, so it's hard and to punish that. Here. That was huge. It is huge for for Orkin. If he can get another one of those high damage combos that he got at the start of every stock so far, this could be a win for him. And that's a win over the person who got second at the last Odyssey and generally just got uh, ranked ninth, I believe. So. It's actually, I believe it was. Yeah, it's either ninth or sixth in last season's uh, PR. Yeah. But we're, we're back in the in the, in the Neva stock situation. I don't even know what happened. I think a downstream got sent. <laughs> this is really scary. Wait, hold on. So yet Thank again. You. Orkanon did get honorable mentions as well. So. This is true. I mean, it's definitely no slouch either. No. And he, I believe he has PR'd before, so this is very doable for either of them. Oh, wait! The f is not going to be enough to even take him off stage yet. Oh, wait, this is a re-rep. It's going to be huge. Okay, he got some more gun. He gets another rap. The, rap. the upper here. Wait, he can get... Oh, he didn't get to read there. Marks him. This could be very big. This could be huge. Yeah. It doesn't die. The net it doesn't, doesn't die. kill just yet. It's still really scary. This is he got very it. Scary. He did it. And Orkanon takes the set from Midmall. That was huge. That advantage stayed at the end. 
defined the game. The, the game was definitely defined by Orkanon's huge punish game here. Really impressive by Orkanon to bring it back and pull himself together. Yeah, that was a that was just an explosive set.